Hey guys, Tyler Standiford here. I'm a biomechanics professor at Utah Valley University. And for the past year, I've been working with Superspeed Golf, doing a lot of research related to club head speed, um, ground reaction force production as a result of Superspeed training. Now, Superspeed Golf has been the leader uh, in helping amateur golfers and golfers of all skill levels gain club head speed for almost the past decade. Okay? And we've seen this over and over again. We've seen it in your know, driving ranges, we've seen it in labs, uh, we've, we've heard from our golfers, we know that they're gaining club head speed. Now, a question that we get a lot at Super Speed Golf is, what's actually happening out on the course? Okay, now this is something that, you know, we, we're, we're very confident that these gains are transferring out to the course. And we've heard this from users, where users have been able to report you know, some, some better scores, some longer drives, some you know, decreased distances into, into their par fours. Uh, but we want to really go into these details and allow you as an amateur golfer to really see some of those benefits that are coming from super speed training that aren't just club head speed. And this is why we've introduced some products from Shot Scope Golf. Now Shot Scope has some wonderful products that actually allow you as a golfer, an amateur golfer, any kind of skill level, to start tracking your own stats that are similar to those that have, have usually been reserved for PGA Tour players. Now, uh, there's a lot of ways that you can track these stats, pen and paper, um, you know, writing things down on your scorecard. Well, ShotScope has made it very easy for you to not just get things like driving distance and driving accuracy and number of putts and greens and regulation, which you know, can, can be important, but they actually allow you to start to dive in and see things like strokes gained off the tee. Uh, percentage misses left versus right, stroke screened approaches. How do you play 400 yard par fours versus 330 yard par fours? How do you do when you take a driver off the tee versus a, a, a hybrid off the tee? Right? And this is incredible data that allows you to compare yourself not only to the tour players, which is kind of fun, but also towards maybe that next handicap level you're trying to get, get to, that, the five handicap or the 10 handicap. Okay. Now, these devices, when paired with your speed training, if you get a nice baseline with these devices and then do your speed training, you're going to actually be able to see gains out on the golf course. Okay. The first device is this ShotScope V3. Now, what the ShotScope V3 is, it's a watch that you wear while you play golf. Uh, you attach these little sensors to the top of every one of your clubs and you play your round of golf. And that's it. Hey, the only thing you have to do on the watch is when your ball actually goes in the hole, you have to stand by the hole and click a button that says if you won two or three putted. And then after the round you go in and kind of sign off on your scorecard, sign off on your round, and bam, you have all the data from that round. It's incredibly easy to use and gives a wealth of information for any golfer. Okay? The second device, and you might say, uh, hey Tyler, that's great, but I don't want to wear a watch when I play golf. Okay, uh, okay, cool. Well, that's where you have uh, the uh, ShotScope H4. And what this is, is that same kind of GPS enabled unit on the watch, but now you can actually put a kind of on a belt clip and allow you to, to do that same thing, track those same stats, but now without a watch, you can now do it on the belt clip. The only additional piece here you have, same tags on the clubs, you're just gonna tap that before you hit a shot. So, again, super easy to use, data comes out that same way, okay? Now, if you're a golfer who's always wanted to maybe uh, get into the rangefinder world and know those exact distances that you have to the hole, especially as you're starting to now gain distances and understand how far you're hitting clubs, okay, it becomes really important to know how far you have to the hole. Okay, so that's where the Pro LX Plus comes in handy. So this is for you where you're gonna get a high quality rangefinder that allows you to, again, dial in those distances, know exactly how far you are, but also pair it with this H4 sensor, which you can either magnetize to the rangefinder itself or keep on the belt clip and be able to track all of those same stats that you would get from the V3 watch or the H4 product. But now you get a rangefinder with it as well. Okay? And what's the benefit of this? Again, this benefit is that what it does is it allows you to see how much more you're getting from your speed training in addition to just club head speed. Now you're gonna see things like you know, strokes gained off the tee improve. Uh, you're gonna see these distances improve. You're gonna notice, man, you know, I used to always hit, you know, for me, number one at my golf course, I always felt like I used to be hitting eight irons and seven irons into that green. After a year of speed training, 
Now I'm hitting, you know, nine irons, pitching wedges. The other day I hit a gap wedge into that green. Okay, so these are the kind of things that we want to start to see uh, or help you see these changes for you. So paired with your super speed set, this can be a great way to enhance your speed training. Okay, I'm so excited about this, these products. I actually undertook a study that I'm, I'm about halfway through this summer. And I'll be really excited to share some of the results towards the end of the summer where I've actually taken a group of golfers. I've got their baseline data using the ShotScope V3 system. And then I'm gonna speed train them for a course of about six to eight weeks and then put them back out on these same golf courses using the ShotScope V3 again and look at what happens to all of these metrics. Okay, this is something that I'm really excited about. Uh, I think that's this piece of speed training research uh, that's going to allow us to really uh, inform our users. Okay, but you don't have to be a part of my research study to do this. You can grab your own device. Uh, and you can kind of uh, lock in, get those baselines, do your speed training, and then see all those benefits that are coming, not just in club head speed, but in scores out on the course, strokes gained off the tee, strokes gained approach, see all those benefits that are coming from you as a golfer.